What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here with another Battle Box video for you. I got May 2021 right here, and I got a dog right here, so if you see it or hear it running around, it's okay because he's cute. So, Mission 75, let's break into the box together, shall we? You ready? All right, let's do this. Where are you going? Don't eat that. <laughs> All right, so we got the mission brief right here. Follow along in the video and you'll see what's in this here booklet. So we're just going to jump right on into it. So first up is the basic box and we've got the Beyond Bungee Trek Rope Lock Tie Down Tool. We always need something to tie down something with, right? This right here is a cool little tool. It's kind of like an EDC tool, but it is a tie down and it's got a few extra little features right here to kind of separate it from other types of tie downs. And I got one in a mystery spot right here so I don't have to break open this here package. You may get different colors of this. This one's blue, the one I have is red. I like gadgets. This is small enough to keep in your pocket. You can take the cord completely out if you wanted to. So you could keep this in your pocket and you can keep this stowed away somewhere else in another pocket or whatnot. But it still wraps up pretty tight if you wanna keep it in your pocket. Keep it in a bug out bag, glove box, anything like that. A great thing to have, of course, in vehicles. You've had a situation where you needed to tie something down. This right here is perfect for that because there's no knots required. I like that. Some people like that. You got yourself a hook on this end and obviously a hook on this end. Metal hook, which is good. And it's got this patent pending little like cam lock in here. So holds the line really, really well. Like 550 cord and all you gotta do to tighten it up is do that. Pull the tag in, this end's gonna be cinched down. And as we all say, when we tie something down, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it's like famous last words, right? But what we also have other than the hook here, which obviously you can put in here either way, we've got pry bar, a little nail extractor right there. Of course, you gotta have a bottle opener. Got a small little V-notch blade right here so you can cut cordage if you need to. And you've got a small hex wrench and Phillips head screwdriver. So a cool little tool to help get you out of a bind if need be. The screwdriver and wrench is captured by this kind of like a liner lock, if you will, and it's strong. Pull the tag in, it ain't going nowhere. If you have other hooks or other ways that you, you need to tie on to, let's say you, the situation that's being presented, you, you can't use a hook, you can take the hook off because it's just looped on. There's no knot here, it's actually sewn together through the, uh, through the 550 cord. So that's pretty cool. If you have something that you can't hook to, you can take the hook off obviously by pulling pulling this out take your hook off and now you've got a loop that you can use you just loop it around whatever pull that through go back through your device and then you're good to go so the next item in the box is from wildly good they're called the wildly good lightweight merino wool crew socks let me let me just fill you in on something i don't know about you but there's there's certain little things in life that if you haven't experienced those things you don't really know right like a, a really good pair of sunglasses like you could buy really cheap sunglasses your entire life and it's fine you're none the wiser right you got sunglasses on it they work but when you finally put on a, a premium pair of sunglasses, you're like, holy crap, I've been missing out my entire life. Socks are kind of the same deal with me. You've got your normal socks that you go to the regular big box store and you buy a pack of, you know, X amount of pairs of socks in there and they work good. They do what they're supposed to do. You're none the wiser. But the moment you put on a premium pair of socks, you're like, where have you been all my life? <laughs> I mean, that's just, how it is and, and these socks are those kind of socks when you put these socks on you're going to be like yeah i've kind of been missing my missing out my entire life so these are merino wool socks merino wool is really cool because it's lightweight they keep you warm but not hot right not like these socks you can wear winter or summer if you got stanky feet you know that they'll help a little bit with that they're moisture wicking they fit and they feel awesome and once you put them on you'll know what i'm talking about Trust me. These right here are from Wildly Good. They're 80% merino wool, 16% polyester, 2% nylon, 2% spandex, 100% guaranteed. When you put them on your feet, you're gonna thank me. And what's cool about them is, is they fit your foot. 
I wear boots a lot. You got socks that slowly keep slipping past your heel and you have to reach down there in your boot and pull your socks up. Nah, not with these. They make you happy when you put them on your feet. You're gonna be pissed off when you reach in your drawer and these are in the dirty clothes hamper and you don't have any more. So you're probably gonna definitely wanna get some more. Why is socks fitting into a battle box? Like, what's the deal with that? One thing that you've got to understand is you gotta take care of your feet. You, you gotta take care of your feet. Those of you who've been in the military know all about that. It is a very important thing and they beat it into your brain right out of the get-go. If your feet are not healthy, if your feet are blistering, cracking, what, what, there's tons of different things that can happen to your feet. It's gonna take you down. It'll take a warrior down, right? So in a survival situation, you need to take care of your feet. You need to practice those things, etc. One purpose of the box is to get you familiarized with products that are out there. So if you want more, if you like it, if it fits into your plan, you can buy some more. These right here are gonna help your feet stay healthy, dry, clean, and not be stanky stank. Smells like booty funk in your feet and toe jam and all that. It ain't gonna be good for nobody, especially yourself. When you smell your own feet, it's bad. I mean, once you smell it, you know, it sticks. You're always gonna remember it. If you've ever smelled your own feet, just know that everybody within 50 yards of you are smelling your feet at the same time. You and your feet can thank me later. Daniel's got some. Should I? It's probably, I mean, it's two days old. Woo! <laughs> smell it. Either. Dude, whatever, you can smell the heel. There's a little, there's a little. That's from the I shoe. Could, okay. That, not the sock. Okay. So there's a slight bit of stank in there. Smell the difference. That's from the shoe, not the sock. The shoe smells. The sock doesn't. <laughs> okay. Yep. You ready? <laughs> Take that how you will. Third on the basic box, we've got Peak Refuel Chicken Pesto Pasta. Now, you know that you're going to want to eat when you're bugging out or when you're camping or when you, I mean, come on. Look at me. I don't miss a meal. This company right here, it's delicious. It's freaking awesome. On the top two favorite list right here, hadn't quite figured out if it'll be number one, but it's getting there. Chicken pesto pasta. This stuff is good. You get two servings of this, just like anything else, heat up your water, add it to the pouch, seal it off, let it rehydrate, and eat directly out of the pouch if you want to, or put it in a bowl, eat it at home. I don't care. You're gonna love this stuff. It tastes great. 460 calories per serving, so 920 altogether. It's freaking delicious. Try it out. If you like Peak Refuel, check them out and go get you some more to add to your meal preparations. Get Steve to heat up one of them, yeehaw. Hadn't been bowling recently, have you? Last in the basic box. I did a video on this. It's pretty freaking sweet, and it? Because it is. It's called the Speed Hook. It's an emergency fishing trapping kit. This thing right here is bad to the bone. A lot of fun right here. A part of your preparations, a part of your planning is to have some sort of gear that's small, compact, easy to pack, easy to put in a backpack, things like that, where you can go fishing if you need to catch fish, obviously, for some really delicious meals. Fish are yummy. So, you need to catch a fish. You ain't got room to tote around a fishing pole in your tackle box and all that other stuff. Just with a simple can or a bottle. The Master Blaster Stratocaster. It's got dual ball bearing planetary overdrive. Really good reel right here. You can uh, catch you some fish with this because you ain't got to worry about setting the hook. This does it for you. This right here has been used by um, ice fishermen for a long time. This is actually a item that is in emergency fishing kits for the military. It's one of them there USA products, come on. It's got directions on the back. You've got a swivel here on top, and as you can see, you've got this wire. Now there's different strengths of these. This right here is, um, is the pan fishing one. So they make some that are bigger for larger fish and things like that. But in a survival situation, a few pan fish, brim, sunfish, things like that, it's all you really need, okay? Um, and they're going to cook quicker. They're going to be easier to catch. They're a little bit more prevalent. You're not going to be going out there trying to catch, you know, the world record largemouth bass with this. You might. <laughs> this right here is probably the main mechanical device on this, right? That's your little trigger system. What you do is you want to bait your hook first. First, Obviously, this is attached to line. You can have it wrapped around a Pepsi bottle like I did here in the video. A can to a stick, you know, a good limber stick that's not going to break for a fishing pole, however you want to do it. Tie it up, put your bait on first. You don't want to be trying to uh, put your bait on while this is in trigger mode, in locked and loaded mode, because you might hook yourself. <laughs> and you've got this ring over here above this other swivel, and you simply... 
put the trigger mechanism in that ring right there. And now it's locked up and loaded and ready to go. Put this in the water and I actually threw it out in the water and it didn't set it off. That was a good part of the test. I was kind of wondering like if I were to throw this in the water versus setting it in the water, would it trigger it? And it did not. It actually held like it was supposed to. When a fish nibbles at the hook down there, it simply just pulls that off that ring and it springs open and will set the hook for you. Got one. Didn't even have to set the hook. And it works, and it works great. Obviously, you can replace this line if need be, so it's serviceable if you need to. If something happens to your swivel, of course, keep a couple extra swivels with you. There's two of them on here. And that swivel there is just to give it a clean area for it to, to pull down without it being in the ring itself. Caught a really nice brim or shell cracker or whatever people call them different. How about that gargantuan one I sent you? Yeah. Pop that up, dude. That thing was sick. Like a freaking, what was it? Uh, Huge. It was, yeah, but I can't remember the weight. Sunfish? Seven something. Oh my God, it, it looked like it weighed 30. <laughs> yeah, it was huge. Be cool if he caught it on one of these. <laughs> so this little piece right here is so that you can adjust the tension or the trigger pressure needed to set this off. If you notice that it's, that it's triggering too soon, like if the fish are just kind of like pecking at it and not really going after it and it's triggering too soon and you're missing fish, you can tighten up the trigger strength by this little tool right here. And you don't really need this. You could do it with a pair of pliers if you got that or a multi-tool, but it does come with this. It just slips over the end of that trigger. And if you bend that trigger towards the edge, so away from center, it's going to take more pressure of the fish biting it to trigger it. If you're not getting triggers the way you need, it's too strong. If you bend it the other way, it makes it lighter. Pretty simple. You'll be able to figure it out. But you could also use this as a trap, catching small game, things like that. You can tie this up to a tree, put some bait on the end, trigger it, you know, squirrel, rabbit, whatever comes up, nibbles at it. It could hook them and you can use it in a trapping situation if need be as well. So not just for fishing. Put into your uh, emergency fishing kit or trapping kit and you're good to go with the speed hook. Yeehaw, it's awesome. So now it's time for the advanced box. And speaking of this right here is issued to the military, we got another item that's issued to the military and it's freaking awesome. It's called the Laser Bright Single Mode Military Light. This thing right here is so freaking cool. So this is how it comes to you in the packaging here. So you can leave it in this packaging if you want to, to put into you know, a survival kit until you need it. But I would suggest you take it out. A lot of really cool things it can do here. But it does come in this, this type of packaging for that purpose so that you can you know, stow it away, be it in a boat, in a vehicle, in a bag, whatever, so it's protected and it's easy to open. Laser Bright's got a lot of really cool stuff in there um, in, in their catalog of products. They give you a card that shows you all that stuff. So really cool. So this is kind of a, I'll call it, it's a portion of their kits, but we'll call it kind of like the starter kit so that you can add to it. A lot of really cool stuff you can add to this. What is Laser Bright? So Laser Bright products are a solution for the military to get rid of you know, your typical glow sticks and things like that because they're one time use, you know, they burn out fairly quickly. This right here is like, a souped up freaking LED solution to glow sticks has way more possibilities of configuration and features than a glow stick ever will. What you get in the kit is a red light, single mode light, so it's on off. You get a white light, single mode light. They're threaded on both ends here. Your batteries, there's two, two little flat batteries like watch batteries. It comes with a pack of four, two in each light. You get a long tube, a short tube, two dome, uh, dome connectors. You get this one here that's got an iris on it so you can move this to adjust the intensity of your light for whatever it is you're using it for. We'll talk about that in a minute. You've got this end cap that has a loop on it. You know, for the buzz saw, for signaling or whatever, you can put this on, tie some string to it, spin it around, do, do the whole buzz saw trick that you see a, a, a lot of people on YouTube talk about using glow sticks for. You've got this bungee lanyard right here. They call it something specific. I can't remember what they're calling. They call it the hex loop. Now, what can I do with this thing? If you turn the bezel, your light will come on, obviously. 
rotate it again, it turns off. And it's full 360 all the way around, so you don't have to go to the left, go to the right. No matter what, you turn it either way, it'll click on. It's kind of like adult Legos, man. You can configure this thing however you want. So let's say I'm wanting to direct traffic or whatever because of a certain situation, right? Well, I want a red light, and you know, maybe I want a white light just to make, so I've got the lights going in the same direction. The red's going into the tube, the white's going onto the dome, and I can signal, you know, shine the light, you know, at somebody, need be, use this as a flashlight, take the dome off, all sorts of cool things. Military speaking, uh, they put these on whips, on vehicles if need be. They do have IR lights, so they can turn the light on where you can only see them proper optics, your infrared optics. They've got spikes you can buy where you can screw in. You can put these down for landing zones. There's tons of uses for this. Strap it to your pack, only use it when you need it. Options are endless. One thing that's really cool is if you put on another tube, it creates a really good focused light. Let me, let me, let me back up. Oftentimes when you think about flashlights, people are always talking about, well, the brightest and how far can you see it and how far does it go? In a survival situation and in most military situations, you don't you don't want to be seen with this freaking super bright light. Bright lights are great, they have their purpose, but for the most part, you need light so that you can see what you're doing and you don't give away your position as easily and you're still kind of like incognito, right? So that's the purpose of light. And another thing is, in a really dark situation, if you have a really bright light and you turn that light off, it takes a while for your eye to adjust to the darkness and you kind of screw yourself because you use such, such a bright light. Let's say a map reading situation. You put your iris on. I'm just gonna put the dome on here just so that it's on there. And you want to read a map, but you don't want to use a crap ton of light. And you want to focus that light exactly where you want it. Well, you turn on your red light and you can move this iris to adjust your lighting however you need to be able to read whatever it is you're wanting to read. Another really cool benefit to this iris is walking at night. You're walking around, you want to be able to see, but a lot of times you don't want to use a whole lot of light. You want just enough light where you can see and not give your position away. The caveat to that is you, you can see in front of you a little bit, but you can't see down below you very well. You can have this iris on, hold the light like this. This is illuminating your feet. This is illuminating your, your direction you're going and you're not spilling light all over the place. This right here is a trusted light. It's waterproof, it's durable. The military uses it for all sorts of situations. Go to their website and check out all their different things that they have and different ways that the military uses it and you can come up with all kind of cool ideas on how you can use it. Uh, there's a few accessories I'll show you here in the mystery spot that he sent me just cause I'm so freaking stoked about this type of light right here. I want you guys to see some of the different things that they have. So this here is their single light pouch, basically for this, but it comes as a kit. So it comes with a light, a pouch, batteries, and the iris. And this one, really well built, made in America, USA, right there, all the way. You've got your light that goes down into the pouch. This one has the iris with it and it's got the extra batteries right up here. So strap this to your kit, however. This one has the green light on it. It's also a single mode light. So you got green light, comes with the larger tube and a red light. They also have a couple different types of heads. Like I said earlier, they've got the, uh, the infrared light. So that, that one's got black on it. I don't have one of those here. You're only gonna see that with infrared optics. And if you have that kind of gear, you can strap one of these to, to your person or all the people in your group if you're running IR and you'll be able to see their locations and stuff like that. But what I mean by uh, single mode, again, is on off. They have a multi-lux mo multi light that comes in all the different colors and you can tell the difference of it by the molding of the light. So you see these, these dips here or these semicircles on the on the framing here, the molding of it. That's a single mode light because each one of them look the same. On the multi-lux light, there's your single mode on high. 
Let me find my piece. Your single mode high. That's bright. This one here has got a notch in it. The notch means it'll flash, as you can see. And then the next one has a dip in it. The dip is the low beam. So you got low, high, and flash with their multi-lux light. And it comes in all the different colors. Their different colors are white light, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then the infrared. Also, what you can get is a magnet. Comes in a package like this. The magnet screws on above the battery area. And then, of course, you use it just like anything else. You can stick it to things, whatever, and have, and have your light. The helix loop. So, cool thing with that is you can take your clip, your, uh, your lanyard in here, take your light, however you want. I'm going to put the dome on it. You can put that over the battery area, run your loop through, like so, right? You got a way to hang a light you want. Also, you can run this thing around like this. So you can strap it to a backpack. You can strap it to different gear. You can, you can strap it to something you want to mark for whatever reason. Tons of uses for this strap right here. You can strap it, strap it to a weapon, whatever you want to do. It's ridiculous. And the battery time is, is nuts. I was talking to the guy that invented this stuff and is selling it. And he said he talked to, uh, to, to some Marines and said that out of one kit that they got, whatever it may have been, whichever kit, their entire deployment, they never change the batteries because obviously you're only going to use this when you need it. And it comes with extra batteries if you need it. So you're good to go. Last thing I'm going to show you is their map kit. I promise you, man, you guys want to, you guys want to check out their website. So this is their map kit right here. Ridiculous Velcro, by the way. <laughs> Freaking Velcro is no joke. So with this kit, you get a map case, so you can put your map in here. You get your extra batteries, you get your iris, and then you get your light kit, obviously. What's cool is, is your light kit can go in there, and there's your light. It, you can focus your light to your map without having a whole lot of light spill all over the place. So really cool products, man. I know I know there's gonna be people in the comments say, hey man, why didn't we just get the map kit or why didn't we get this kit right here? I'm gonna go ahead and address that now. This kit that's coming in 45 is a $45 kit. Like that's what you're gonna pay when you go to Laser Bright for what we're sending in this box. And obviously we've got a set budget of things that we can put in the box. I mean, it's clearly the way it works. So. But the point is, is to show you stuff, give you usable gear. None of this stuff is samples. It's usable gear that you can use. And if you like it, you can explore more options of that company. I mean, that's the point, right? We want to put different companies in front of your faces so that you can go to them and buy more if, if you like or buy more kits to add to it if you like. So this basic kit is a great starter kit. It's really all you really need. I mean, you, you don't have to you know, have this. And... We send this out, how many people are really going to be stoked about a map kit? They'll probably be like, well, you know, I don't use maps or whatever. So, I mean, it's kind of subjective. But this way, you get the starter kit so that you can add to it from Laser Bright how you will, right? I just am really stoked about this light. This, this light is really freaking cool because of all its modularity. And I wanted you guys to know they had more products because I know I'm going to call them up and, and buy, buy some for my kits. And I think you should too. So that's the purpose of showing it, showing you guys this stuff. If you look hard enough on this stuff, you might see a discount code for Laser Bright. Yeehaw. Oh, one thing I do want to mention though, we still running? Mm -hmm. I didn't, I, I forgot to cut. So your battery compartment right here, all you need is a coin, you know, a knife blade or whatever, and you can get in there, it's just two batteries. You know, it's got gasketing and all that stuff, and you don't have to, you don't have to wrench the crap out of this when you tighten it. Just when it dead stops, just give it a little bit more, and that's it. I don't recommend you do this, but you may. Um, it's not recommended, obviously, but it just so happens that a battery will fit right in that slot really easily. So if you're in a pinch and you can't use a knife or you ain't got a coin on you or something else, which is what you should use, I ain't saying I'm just saying, the battery will fit in that slot just right. Just be careful with that because it is a battery. You don't want to bust a battery or mess nothing up. So it actually does fit in that little slot right there. All right, now I'm going to clean this up. Steve's done with the... 
show you all this real quick. <laughs> so yummy. It's gonna be so yummy. I'm telling you y'all, I, I ain't joking. If you fix this stuff at home, had some friends come over for supper or whatever, and said, hey, I'm having some chicken pesto pasta tonight. Y'all need to come get you some. And you cooked that right there, and you served it to your friends in a nice bowl and put some dirty dishes in the daggone sink. They ain't gonna have no idea that it came out of a bag like that. I promise you, they'll have no idea. They'll be like, hey man, when you, when you cooking that again? It's freaking delicious. I would freaking love to have this stuff right here in a survival situation. I'm telling you, you're talking about good food and nutrition and morale booster? Yeehaw. So in the pro box, we've got another flashlight. Now, probably first thing is like another flashlight, we just got a flashlight. Well, this, this flashlight's totally different. It's got different purposes, different functions. You know, you got a light for, you know, when you want to be covert and in a survival situation, it's modular. You can do all kinds of things with it and be a badass. And then you got this light right here, which has got, like I said, different functions, great for home use, great when you really need a whole lot of bright light around you. Those are all the times when you need that. And it is the Hybrid Light Mammoth Multi-Light. This thing's really cool. It can charge on the wall, like, which is cool, right? So you ain't gonna worry about changing batteries in it and things like that. You can plug this thing into the wall. It also does solar. It also has magnets. It also has got an articulating head, all the cool stuff. Let me show it to you. I got one in the mystery spot. Ba bam The hybrid light mammoth. It's a big old light. It's really, really freaking cool, but it does all kinds of cool stuff. So, so first off on the back right here, you've got a plug that drops down. So you can plug this into a wall socket in your home. So in an emergency situation, you know where it's at, you know it's gonna be charged and it's gonna be ready to go. You just pull it off the wall, you're ready to rock and roll. On the back here, we've got a solar panel. In a camping situation or outdoor situations, and you're not using it during the day, you can set this down and be sure it's good and topped off for when the darkness comes at night. On the front right here, we've got a forward facing light. And here we've got, you know, an array of LEDs on the front and it's articulating, which is really cool. On the bottom, we've got magnets. That's also articulating. So you can articulate this however you want. And the thing's friggin' bright. <laughs> So there's your front panel light, really bright light. Daniel, get the uh, help. We still got a light up there, but you can just leave that. That's fine. I think they get the gist. Really bright, okay? Push it again, and you get your front light. Oops, I accidentally push. God almighty. Ah! Push it again, and you get the forward light here. That's a more, you know, directed light, right? So this is great for, you know, working on a vehicle, at night, you broke down on the side of the road, you got a really good light that you can articulate however you want, especially with the magnet. Also, seeing spots, sorry, I just blinded Daniel. <laughs> the last feature of the light is behind this little tab right here. Pull that open, you can charge the, uh, the cable that comes with this if need be. So if you don't have 120 volts or you don't have good sun, you got a battery pack, you can charge this off a battery pack or you can charge your phone or other devices off of this. So not only is it a light with a lot of features, it also has the ability to <clears throat> It also has the ability to charge other devices. 120 degree flex head, it's nine inches long, eight and a half ounces, 20 hours of full sunlight will charge it. Holds a charge for years, so you can put this thing up and forget about it. It's extremely durable, it's water resistant, 20 hour burn time, 400 lumens, so five volt and two amp USB for charging. How about that? Just don't put it in your eyes because it hurts really bad. So now it's time for the pro Tusk box. And this month, we got a fixed blade, baby. Y'all know how I feel about the fixed blade knife. Fixed blades are awesome. I love fixed blades. Don't get me wrong, I dig a folder. But there's just something about a fixed blade, man. They're freaking awesome. And this month, we've got the Lord and Field Talula. Really cool. I love their uh, packaging. In the box, we've got, like they typically do, we got kind of this wax paper here. Got a little write up about the blade and don't cut yourself and yah, 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 all that good fun stuff. Don't want to cut yourself, obviously, but some people have to be told that. <laughs> Blade right here that's in a really nice scout carry sheath. 
Lord and Field puts out really good leather sheaves. A lot of them are scout carry. Scout carry is becoming a really popular way to, uh, to carry your, your knives. Really nice finish, good stitching, and when, when, when it wears in and gets some uh, wear and tear on it, they really, really look nice. So the Tallulah has a Nesmuk style shape to it, which is a really popular knife for almost any situation from bushcraft, survival, skinning, the whole nine is probably one of the top three style blades um, out there. Uh, we've got 440C uh, stainless steel, 90 degree spine, so you can use this to strike a ferro rod if need be, micarta scales, and the, the feel of this knife's really good. It's got a real smooth feel to it. I don't know, some knives when you put your thumb down on it, you're like, yeah, that's, that's balanced, that feels good, that's gonna be an awesome, awesome skinning knife, by the way. The Frontiersman that came out years ago has really got people's eyes opened up to Lord and Field, and that knife was very popular, and everybody's been screaming, hey man, they need to do another, do another fixed blade, and, and this, is, this is the one right here, the Tallulah that they come out with. Extremely sharp, and the micarta scales are kind of cool, it kind of has that, uh, it's not really a green, it's kind of a green, uh, kind of a dull down kind of green color. I like the fixed blades simply because they feel like great heirloom items to an extent. Like, you know, th these, these fixed blades are things that, you know, if I don't tear them all to pieces over the years, obviously, and maybe in some cases that'll be cool for my kids and, their, and my grandkids one day or whatever. There's just something about being handed down a fixed blade. This knife's gonna be an awesome heirloom if you look at the knives in the same aspect as I do, and that's how I look at them. That's why I enjoy collecting them and using them. Bushcraft, striking ferro rods, the whole nine. The Tallulah is there for you to tackle pretty much any situation in the outdoors you need. And of course, it's got area here where you can put a, a lanyard through if you like. A lot of people like to put lanyards on with beads and stuff. And it is a scout carry sheath. I dig it, fixed blade. <sighs> so that's mission 75 of Battle Box, folks. Really cool box this month. A lot of different things to kind of use and check out, especially that modular light. You're gonna love that thing. Recap right here, so we got the Beyond Bungie Right here, really cool wave, EDC type tie down right there. Tarps, general uses at home, vehicle uses, survival uses, the whole nine. And it's got a few little tools in, you know, included in it so that you can screw in a Phillips head screw if need be or open you a nice cold bottle of brew if you need to. Speaking of something to ingest, that Peak Refuel right there, I'm telling you. Try that stuff out and check out their company, Peak Refuel. They got a lot of really cool recipes and I'm telling you, try it. Fix some of that stuff, tell somebody you actually made it from scratch and see if they believe you or not, because I promise you they're gonna believe you. It's really good. Those guys are like hardcore backpackers and hikers and hunters, and uh, they pretty much developed that company because they wanted real nutrition and real good food in those situations. They're, they're at the top of the list when it comes to backpacker style meals and survival meals. We've got the Laser Bright right here. Laser with a Z. Check them out. Laserbright.com with a Z. L-A-Z-E-R. Military tested and used by the military. These are issued to our military to use. They love it. It works. Long battery life. Modular. You can do all sorts of things with them. Try them out. You know, put them together however you want and add it to your rotation and check out their website for more cool gear that you can add to that kit right there. The um, Wildly Good socks, the name fits, Wildly Good. If you haven't had a pair of premium socks before, especially merino wool socks, your life is fixing to change and you need to buy some more. <laughs> so put those socks on and let us know what you think. The Speed Hook, awesome way to catch fish, very minimalistic, and you don't have to have a whole lot of crazy stuff in an emergency fishing kit. That right there gets the job done, and you can use it as a trap for small game, which is really cool. Another light right here, the Mammoth from Hybrid Light. Awesome light for an emergency situation at home. Keep it plugged in. We've got one on our wall that's been there for years, and when we need a flashlight, it's the first one we go to. We've got flashlights in all our offices. This one right here, we know is charged, we know is gonna work, and we know is bright, and you will too. And last but not least, the fixed blade from Lord and Field, the Tallulah, the Nesmic style fixed blade, 440C, 90 degree spine, full tang with micarta scales and a leather sheath for scout carry. It's freaking awesome. You're gonna love it. Great for the collection and great if you use your knives like I do.
I want a knife that's going to handle it. Lord and Field builds knives that can take a beating. So that's mission 75. And I'm going to start eating that to finish it up before it gets cold. And uh, I'll see you next month with Mission 76. Be sure to like, comment, share with your friends. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. And don't forget to check out BattleBox.com for more videos, more gear, and more just general awesomeness. Y'all know the deal. There's my uh, Joe Biden punchline for the end of the video. You know the deal. <laughs> it's called the Master Blaster Stratocaster got dual ball bearing planetary overdrive really good reel right here check that out that's all you really need man it's only 797 retail just uh whip it on out there